Hey, this is Noltzer, and we're watching Marty. Marty is in the Emile on the map New Dawn. Now, the Emile is the Tier 5 French cruiser, and I'm sure many of you are familiar with it. Good and bad. If you would like to submit a replay like Marty, please submit it to NoltzerReplay at gmail.com. Please have the replay file, in score screenshots, one to two sentence summary, and please include the ship name in the title of the email. I really appreciate all the submissions. I can't share them all with the channel. There's just too many. There are great, great games that many of you have shared, and I love your enthusiasm when I read it. You know, you're telling me about, oh man, I've never done this before. This is great. Check it out, Nautzer. I hope you have a great day. I love the content. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me that you enjoy my content enough to email me and share your experience. I just wish, well, I, I wish there was enough time to share it all. I just can't. I can't. Now, Marty is over by B-Point with his team, well, his teammate, and he's trying to engage targets. Now, he switched to AP, but the target angled. Fortunately, he kept AP, and this Kuma target did not angle at all. He got a lot of citadels with that one. And for whatever reason, he immediately switches to another target. Now, I'm going to read this as his teammate is asking for assistance. There's really not a good reason for that immediate switch other than he felt like his teammate needed a little bit of help to stay alive. So he goes back to the Kuma. He's got his AP chain firing, just hoping to get something on the target. And of course, he gets something on the target. It's just not enough. 32 hit points. We have all... It's like watching a replay of one of my games, Marty. I know that feeling. <laughs> you did a good job. Unfortunately, Marty's teammate is dead. And clearly they have a, a friendly rapport because he's... Rest in peace, my friend. It is a T-22. Rest in pieces. That's more like it, right? <laughs> the T-22. Hey, you know, it's, it's a tugboat. It's sort of a German tank tugboat. That's the first image that I see. It's got a weird label. It looks weird. It, it doesn't play very effectively. It just, it's a perfect, it's, it's, it's an oddball. It's a tog. It's just so weird. So I'm not surprised his teammate died. What I am surprised is Marty's team mostly hasn't really contributed to a successful take of B or C. They've basically just benefited from a couple people actually playing the objective game. Marty's teammate and a friendly cruiser over by C point. So I'm going, Marty, I don't know that this is the right course of action. Going into range of one, two, three, four, four enemy ships plus aircraft is probably not the safest choice. But let's be honest, let's be candid. I think I would do the exact same thing. In fact, I know I would. I know I would. I can kill them all. They can't stop me. Good luck. And of course, the enemy Koenig knocks out his propulsion. And I guarantee he doesn't have a last stand because he's not a destroyer. Most cruisers don't take a last stand. Most battleships don't either. All battleships, in fact. So he's going to be sort of dead in the water. But thankfully, most of the enemy is actually behind islands and can't exploit this fact. Now let's just take a quick check. It looks like four or five friendly ships really like the one line. I mean, really likes the one line. Marty is in the center, of course. Overextended, engine knocked out, he just wades through his damage control. It probably came up with just a little bit of time left. Might as well keep it up in case something bad happens again, which is pretty common in a French cruiser. Not gonna lie, not gonna be like, oh no, everyone succeeds all the time. French cruisers, yeah, they're the best. Uh, no. In fact, French cruisers are probably going to not succeed the best. In fact, everything I just said is a complete lie. 
So a quick check. Okay, enemy meal very low. <laughs> Koenig, pretty healthy in range of torpedoes, of course, but he is behind the island. We've got an enemy Miyogi, Wyoming, and together they make a Waimogi. At least that's what it looks like on the... Uh, have I been drinking? No, but I feel a little tipsy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, but Marty engages the Koenig. Probably not what you want to do, Marty. Thankfully, the Koenig is firing HE and also not at Marty. So Marty sends his torpedoes. And uh, I think this is the first French cruiser with the 9 kilometer range torpedoes. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure someone will already. Um, obviously, I don't mind because, quite frankly, it doesn't matter. Either way, he might be able to get some easy torpedo hits. You would be surprised how little information most of the player base has. They don't assume that a cruiser has torpedoes or has easy time sending torpedoes, so I don't know that the Koenig is going to react correctly. The enemy aircraft carrier is sending his torpedoes. Remember, he has automatic. Oh. We feel for you, Mr. Aircraft Carrier. I know how much that sucks. Uh, Marty, that BB took the torpedoes. And you might actually run into the island if you're not careful, Marty. Nice, no, good. So we know that the Koenig... Is he, is he flooding? The Koenig is flooding... Where do you people find these guys? I never get this. Maybe once. I get someone who's like, Oh man, torpedoes, flood. Let me just take the full damage. Wow, this is going to be a lot of damage if the Koenig can't stop it. There's another Koenig ready to go. Marty's going to set up his torpedoes and he's going to send his torpedoes. His three torpedoes at the Koenig. Now, I don't really feel like... The rate of fire kind of sucks. I'll, I'll get you that. Oh, he got liquidated. Nice. Nice. Wow, that's, that's that's crazy. He flooded for so long. He must be using, like, a, a regular damage control. That's that's the only reason I can, I can explain that he took a full torpedo like that and flooded out like that. That's just unbelievable. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Mid-tier, the engagement ranges aren't super extreme yet. So the 9 kilometer... So the 9 kilometer range torpedoes actually work. Whereas, late-tier, you're really not within 9 kilometers of your target. And if you are, oh boy, you better be asking for forgiveness... Pray to the RNG gods. Hope your teammate is just inept. Or your enemy is inept because... Is is there really another player flooding out? Are you kidding me? Look at look at the chat box. Uh, Liquidator. Confederate. Legend of the Sea. High Caliber. Oh, you know, well, if he's going to take one torpedo, maybe he'll take two. So Marty sends, and of course, he's going to try and send at the Wyoming. I believe the Wyoming was his target. Eh, you know, there's a lot that can change whenever a... Yeah, uh, this is this is what I'll say. I have sent at targets that have been engaging a friendly. And normally that doesn't work out. Because when you send at a target that's already engaged... It's, yeah. He got two liquidators. He got a witherer. That's pretty lucky. Look at his chat spam. Marty, can you stop spamming the chat with all those medals? And Marty's even, he's like, his teammate, good God. Just, uh, that's a, that's a lot of medals earned. But, uh, my point is, whenever a enemy is engaged in close proximity of a friendly, he's going to maneuver wildly. He's, he's working solely off of the enemy ship that's right next to him. He's not caring about any torpedoes, anything like that. He's just trying to position himself for success against that two to three kilometer range ship. It's not really a good idea to send torpedoes that way. It's just like if a aircraft carrier were to attack a target with their torpedoes. 
of course it's going to force out maneuverability or uh, maneuvering. Yes, maneuvering, not sorry. It's going to force out maneuvering from the ship, and you can't predict where he's going to maneuver. The best course of action is to try and isolate or find an isolated target and send torpedoes at him. He won't expect it. You know, maybe he's in the back or maybe he's on the flank or he's just a little bit further away from the action than he expects. That's when you pounce. No mercy. Just take him out. And two enemy aircraft plus the Podvoisky. And I believe he eventually went and captured A point. He's going to try and go back to B point. Pay attention, Marty. You've got to get this guy. Green breeze. He's 9.5 kilometers out. You can hit him. I, I believe in you, Marty. Of course, he drops off detection, which makes it kind of hard to hit the target when you can't see him. Hopefully, the friendlies will send their aircraft over the enemy destroyer. And, of course, the enemy dest destroyer is like, I can do this. Solo warrior will be on the table. Once my friendly aircraft carrier are dead, I will then capture B, capture C, kill every last one of them. And, in fact, I doubt very seriously that, uh, Marty, we're getting kind of low. Be careful. One thing that is nice about these low-tier or mid-tier French cruisers is the turret traverse is pretty nice. You don't really need to pick up expert marksmen. You could get a drill and rush or maybe even last stand if you lost that enough. And Marty, I think that was a little short. Ooh, well, what do I know? He should be able to kill him with one more salvo and it might win the game. Very close to win the game, but doesn't. So... Uh, I think that's, uh, I think that's Marty. Marty, I think you did a pretty good job. Pretty good job indeed. Very entertaining to see you work yourself in B point and then go over to C point. I, of course, approve of aggressive play. Thank you, Marty. It's always nice to see it. Now, Marty earned Witherer, two liquidators. <laughs> that's pretty rare. Confederate, high caliber. What is it? Uh... Liquid of the Sea, I don't know what that one is. Three kills, 142,000 damage done, 1,746 base XP. Absolutely crushed everyone. Great game in the Emil. It's always, it's it's really fun to see ships played very well. That maybe, maybe they're not the best ship in the fleet, but they get the job done in the right hands. And Marty certainly has the right hands for the job. He's got pretty, pretty hybrid Flood damage, 41,000. Wow. Good show, Marty. Thank you for sharing this. Thank you for sending it in. I hope you all enjoyed this game by Marty and the Emil. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.